Hi, I'm Ralph Lawton and I'd like to show you a few things today when it comes to preparing wood. Now, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that this face, which hasn't been planed, is parallel to this face. And the way we do that is we plane it down flat. If we were to, to, to just start planing that away, we could probably get that perfectly flat. But who's to say that it's going to be parallel with the other face? It could be at an angle, it could be sloping that way, or a combination of of anything. We could get it flat, but we won't necessarily get it parallel with this face. In order to do that, we need to give ourselves some guides. And what we'll do is we'll run a guideline with a, a marking gauge down there and down there. Now, in theory, you don't need the gauge line down there because if you if this is square to this, we put a gauge line down there and we plane to it then this, provided this is square, this will be the same on this thickness on this side. But as a double check, and as you know, we're, we're showing you how this is done, putting a gauge line down there could just act as a belt and braces. So we'll do that. This is a fairly standard marking gauge, nice and stiff. Don't like it too sloppy. Sometimes they can be too stiff, <laughs> but this one's okay. I'm not thicknessing this to a particular dimension. It could be that I wanted this to be 20 millimeters thick or so, in which case I would set this to that and I would score it. I'm trying to make this as light to work as I can. So I'm only gonna gauge this fairly close to the top. Now, if I was trying to get to a, a gauge a particular size, I'd be a lot more finickety about getting my gauge to set to a particular distance. Now, this is going to give me 26.5 millimetres, which is quite a generous thickness. So we'll run that through there. And it actually is quite interesting because you can now see how much of this was bowed. Now, I don't know if the camera can see that, but there's quite a bit of material there and there's very little in the middle. And if you remember, this piece of material had a, a bow in it and we flattened that edge off and that's how much bow there was. Now again, we can put the stock of our gauge on the face side and although we're gauging onto a sawn edge we're still working off of our reference face we'll be at the other side of it nice deep gauge line there so you can see it now have a look at the material. Grain's running this way. So it's all running uphill this way. That looks promising. It's quite hard to tell on this side because the saw cuts from the original saw in master grain, but we can assume that it's all carrying on running that way for the time being. <laughs> so clear our bench off. We could put that in the vise and plane it from there if we want. But uh, I'll use uh, the same method as we used before. As you can see, that's much firmer on there than it was before. Move some of this out of the way. Shoves the shavings out of the way from the last effort. And now we can work up a bit of a sweat. That's it. We've uh, 
down to the line. And we'll square with that edge. Check it at this end. Nice and square. So that means that that's our face side. We squared our face edge off of our face side. We squared the reverse face. And now that leaves us the last edge to sort out. Now, we, we could do this in several ways. We need to make sure it's parallel to the other side. So the easiest way to do that is to gauge a line down the, the wood, just as we did with the edge. And we can then remove down to the line using the plane. Just check that. That should do us, tighten that up. And again, with the stock running on the face edge, mark a line. Down the entire length of the piece. And again, belt and braces, we mark the other side. Now this is nice, easy going now, because we've just got an edge. I'm not removing enough to make it worthwhile attempting to saw it. So I'm going to put that back in the vise. Check my grain direction. Grain's running up this way, so I want to be planing in that direction. Seems to be the same on the other side. Set that in the vise. Nicely balanced about halfway. Nice and tight in the vise. And plane. Now you can see that we're planing there, missing there, planing there. That means that this piece of wood must be like that. So we need to keep an eye on what we're doing here. It won't be much because you could hardly detect it on the gauge line. But it's enough to make that difference. At this stage you need to be reasonably careful that you don't play more off of this end than this end because you'll end up making a slope on it. So keep an eye on your gauge lines to make sure that you're removing the same amount from each end. As you can see, nice even shaving all the way off. In fact, that's a full loop shaving. So we're shaving the same amount off all the way down. Once I start getting close to the line, I'll check it with a square. Again, off my face side. See how we're doing. And there we have it. Nicely square. Nice and flat. Perfect piece of timber. Ready for that heirloom project that I'm just about to make. <laughs>